Hey guys, I'll teach you how to work with our AI powered custom fields, which can really bring a new dimension to the way how you handle your data. So first, let's navigate to a particular space where you want to add the AI powered custom field. Click on here, you can see there's some dummy data here. And if I open this particular lead, and scroll down i'll show you that we have really a lot of information about our past communication with this particular contact so let's do something about it let's summarize it and create a next step idea using ai so we can click on add new custom field custom field will be ai field just name it summary and next step by AI. You can assign it to the field group. So this field group has to be connected to your space. If you know, this is the core of working with custom fields. And now you can choose from some of the pre-made templates. So you can read about the templates here, but for us, let's just choose the summarize. Your prompt says that it should create a summary for the following data, and you should select your field. So let's select the field with a history of interaction. So click this field and let's slightly adjust the prompt so that we also get a next step idea. So what should we do next? So create a summary for the following data and suggest the next step so that we can close the deal. Save it. And you can see the new column has been created. So it says generate here because in this mode, you are supposed to actually test whether your prompt does what you expect. So just click on generate, let it work for a bit and it will create a AI powered summary. So from this huge information it's just more shorter version. And at the bottom, you can see the next step that we are supposed to take. So if you're happy with the prompt, you can just click on the top of this, this, this column. And on this edit field, you can actually click on run on filtered results. So of course, if you don't filter the results, it will just run on everything. So just be careful about your AI tokens so that you actually use this once you are really finally happy with your prompt. So you can do uh, really a lot of creative stuff. So I'll just show you one more thing that you can do with AI powered custom fields, and then I'll leave it to your creativity. So let's just create another custom field. It's going to be again, the AI powered field, and let's say it will be a funny nickname. So it will again go to the AI powered group and I'll just create the from, prompt from scratch. So based on name and surname create a funny space cowboy boy nickname I put just the name and uh, here here is the data and you can add one or more fields so I just add two fields first name second uh, first name and then save it. So new final nickname field has appeared here and let's see what we have here. So Marike, nice. Awesome. So now if you click on this field, run it on all the records, you actually created a great funny AI powered nicknames for all your clients in your pipeline. So this is actually how Boostspace works with the AI powered custom fields. Let it work for a second and uh, wait for this to update. And with this, good luck with your AI powered custom field journey.